Hello, I'm Scorch13, and welcome to episode number one of The Turning Point, a new video series for Feria, where I'll be examining some tournament matches for plays made, or not made, which result in a swing in individual games, or matches as a whole. Now this won't be the, he top deck last nightmare right when he needed to to turn the game around. This will be examining high precision clears, complicated movement tactics, or plays which look bad at the start, but shift the game in the right direction. And like I said, we're also going to look at some plays not made, which could fall into any of these categories. So the first game I'll be examining is game number two from the quarterfinal matchup between Dalloway and Kazolidad from the Play Feria Open number three on GosuTV underscore Feria on Twitch. And the tournament format was wild, so players weren't restricted by what they played in prior games. After losing game number one, Dalloway chooses Red Rush to try to get back into the series, while Kazolidad chooses his green-blue deck, which appears to be an Apex. So where we join in here, we can see land placement has gone okay for both players. Dalloway has gained a mountain near the opposing well, a very key placement for Red Rush, while sneaking in an early attack with his Steamforge Enforcer, thanks to being able to be aggressive with Prairies. Kazolidad has allowed the mountain, but limited only that one lane of attack by placing his lands along the other side. Kazolidad has cleared the Steamforge Enforcer with his Tiki Piper, and then is left with two options. First, he's going to place a lake, and then he can either do nothing, or place something on the lake to defend his orb. Either the Sturdy Shell or Gabriel Enchantress, as both lake requirements are met. Here is our turning point. What we see is he chooses to play nothing, and Dalloway is able to attack straight down this alley with the Axe Grinder, hitting the orb twice, and draw into the burst that he needs to end the game, with a Seifer's Wrath and the Flame Burst we see in hand. He would go on to win game number three and the series, and advance all the way to the finals. Now playing nothing on that key turn allowed the Red Rush an easy alley to push in face damage, and also opened up the mountain for another creature to be placed in behind, reinforcing the aggression even if the Axe Grinder was cleared on the following turn. Kazalidad could have turned this game around by playing a creature to body block the Axe Grinder. And the Enchantress would be really nice, as it reduces the Axe Grinder to 4-4, where an event is needed with the attack to clear it, but the Enchantress is a valuable part of the Apex combo. Instead, I think the Sturdy Shell would be best. Now this seems like a bad play at first, since the Axe Grinder clears it for free, but it basically acts as a 0-5 taunt, since the Red Rush can no longer attack the Orb, giving an extra turn for our Apex player to find an answer. Or, the Axe Grinder would be forced to clear with the buffed Piper, using the Flame Burst in hand. Now this reduces the power on board, and the burst possible from the Red Rush. If attacking into the Sturdy Shell, this also forces the Axe Grinder to stay on the mountain, meaning Dalloway can't reinforce with another creature. Now we eventually see a Devouring Plant drawn, and it likely gets played in the same fashion that it did in the actual game. So Kazalidad can no longer be greedy when this happens, and he would be forced to play the Enchantress on the lake, reducing the Axe Grinder's power, but the work would be done. Even if the Axe Grinder and the Seifer's Wrath that we eventually see clear out the Enchantress, Kazolidad can clear with his buff Piper, and then he controls the board while still being at 12 life. He would have the 1-1 Piper harvesting on the left side, and a 6-4 Piper defending the right against the next creature that is dropped. Now a lot of what-ifs happen over the upcoming cards drawn by both players, but with this board control, and the well-controlled out scale, our Apex player could have found his turning point. As always, you can find me on Twitch at MetagamingTV, or Twitter at Scorch underscore 13. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope you'll join in next time.